We turn to the wild ride for Washington State ferry passengers. The ferry system announced more reduced routes starting this Saturday after a week of cancellations among a worker shortage. And as the vaccine deadline approaches Monday, some worry things could get even worse. Today, traffic backed up as we saw two lanes shrinking down to one. On the water, it's a similar picture as Washington State ferries reduce the number of boats on most of their routes starting this Saturday. It's going to affect a lot of people and uh, hopefully we can get the right of it soon. But that's going to be tough under the severe worker shortage. Last Friday, WSF canceled around 157 sailings in just one day. That is more than what they would see in an entire year. Yeah, I experienced that when I went to my last doctor's appointment. I missed a ferry and waited two hours. But... Matthew Ramsey says he relies on the ferry to get back and forth to his weekly doctor's appointment. So he and others are paying close attention and bracing for impact. I mean, generally speaking, it would uh, make my day a couple hours longer. Probably going to be some lineups. I might have to get up a little earlier. Between retirements, COVID quarantines and pandemic related problems, we've known for a while that the agency is desperate for more workers. But that still does not fully explain last Friday's dramatic cancellations. We've learned that on that day, 28 workers called in sick last minute. Perhaps if WashDOT was operating with a full staff, the fallout wouldn't have been so bad. But the shortage is severe, so 28 sick calls is a big deal. And as we head into this coming Monday, it could be another wave of problems. As of today, around 200 ferry workers have yet to provide proof of vaccination. Governor Inslee making it clear that the deadline for the vaccine mandate will not be extended past Monday, meaning workers who do not comply run the risk of losing their jobs come Tuesday. So we just don't know how many of those 200 workers will have to part ways. But even if, hypothetically speaking, we're talking about 20 to 30 employees uh, leaving over the vaccine mandate, that will certainly cause more problems for an already struggling system. Now, the latest ferry reductions will remain until further notice. We have a full breakdown for you of the impacted ferry routes on our website, fox13seattle.com.